3 a.m., Colin Rutherford, a highly respected physicist, gets an unexpected call. Hello, is this Colin Rutherford? Asks the caller. Yes, Colin sleepily answered. Who is this? I am General Michael Johnson. We are going to need you to help the government with a confidential project. I will be there to pick you up in 15 minutes, so get ready. General Johnson hangs up the phone. Colin knows who was on the phone. Colin was hired by the government if they needed him. They would call him if necessary. This was his call. Colin quickly gets dressed, gives a gentle hug to his sleeping wife and two children, writes a note explaining why he must leave, and leaves when a green Buick Skylark pulls into his driveway. As he gets into the car, he asks many questions. Why do you want me? Colin asks. You specialize in quantum physics. That's why we want you, responds General Johnson, if you want to know where we are going. We're going to the airport. Why would you need quantum physics to help with military procedures? You'll see. After about ten minutes of driving, they arrive at the airport. There's a jet waiting for them. They get into it. After a few minutes, the engine's quiet and the aircraft steadies. Would you mind if I slept on the way to wherever we're going? Asks Colin. Go ahead and sleep. It will be a while before we get there, says General Johnson. Colin quickly dozes off. When he wakes up, the sun is rising. Wake up. We're almost there, says General Johnson. Why is it so cold in here? Where are we? Asks Colin. The answer to both of your questions is because we are in Alaska. When they get there, they go through security procedures. The guards check their IDs, search them for weapons, and let them in because they pass these tests. General Johnson takes him into a room that is larger than a gymnasium. This, Colin, is why you are here, says General Johnson. Colin sees a large, diamond-shaped white object near the center of the room. What is it? asks Colin. We call it Dimension 4. Time? You're pretty smart to know that. It's almost a time machine. Since you specialize in time and space, we think you have the knowledge to make the time machine work. I really don't think so. Going through time is a complicated process. We would need the proper equipment to build it. Why does the military need a time machine anyway? To stop major wars and other disastrous events. We could also solve mysteries like Stonehenge and the building of the pyramids. I think we could stop the Holocaust if the USA came in earlier and stopped Nazi troops. That's a nice theory, but a machine this size could not fit the troops necessary to do what you're planning. We have the most advanced military troop in the nation coming in the time machine. This troop is made up of only six people, so they should fit. If you agree, you will not need to construct the machine. You will have the most renowned mechanical engineers to build it. Okay, I'll do it. You just need to tell me what to do. Colin finds the way to make the time machine work with speed. Einstein said the faster you go, the slower time goes. He thinks that if the military could get their hands on a plasma generator, they could make it go the speed of light. So if you go as fast as the speed of light, you could travel through time. After many months of working, the time machine is finally constructed. The troops were getting in the time machine as Colin prepared for takeoff. He set the time destination, not knowing he had made a crucial mistake. He thought he set the machine on BC. He left it on AD. They take off in a flash of light, disappearing.